Welcome to the CFM Fish Off Season 3. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See, this might be his record. Sober, yeah! Oh, yeah! Woo! Oh, hey, my job, God. Dude. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Look. Slayton is hooked up. 13 and a quarter inch. Whoa! Hopefully we can hook one up. This year, we have four teams representing four provinces. From Ontario, we have the 2019 CFN Fish Off Tournament Champions, Team Drag Boys, with Mitch Zanali and Brandon Kadotsky. From Alberta, we have Team Rock Hard Angling, with Trina and Jared and the rest of the Little John family. From Saskatchewan, we have the Sass Fish Hunters, with Bill and Dalton Landry. Last but not least, from British Columbia, we have the Pike Minnow Gang, with Colvay Red and Malcolm Sutton. The goal of the CFN Fish Hunt is to try to catch as many species as possible. The longest fish in each species gets you four points. And the smallest fish gets you one point. The team with the most points after the five-week competition is crowned the CFN Fish Off champion. And on behalf of the Canadian Fishing Network, the winning team gets to donate $500 to the charity of their choice. Now let's check out the action of week two. Hopefully we can have as good a time today. Get some bigger fish. Looking for some uh, northern pike. They should be in that backwater. They're really hard, but just seen there were so many walleye and bullet last night. And it's, it's all we got. So we're off to the same spot again today. Uh, river ha was in the process of going down, so it might be easier to get to today. Today we should we should be able to hook into some of them three three and a half pound gold eye today. Bust that 20 inch mark. Hopefully, you know, shoot for one of them 23 and a half, 24 inch ones like I got before. But uh, you never know how the day goes. The fish are gonna decide, especially with the weather being in such turmoil. With all that rain again last night, I'm hoping our road didn't mudslide didn't completely cover our road again. Uh, heck of a lot last night. Alright, well, next time you see me, let's hope it's with a big fish. Here we are, first stop on our mountain camping trip here out in Nordag. Uh, while I'm waiting for the rest of the crew to show up, I'm just going to hit up this little creek. It's called Shunda Creek. It's right below Shunda Mountain. Okay. We're going to give it a tr try here. This little creek's got brookies in it. Throw out a little Panther Martin and see if I can get an 8 inch brookie or bigger. Oh, there's one. Oh, I got a monster. That is definitely not an 8 incher. It is beautiful. Little brookie. Are you pretty? It's just absolutely beautiful here. Beautiful stream, beautiful mountains, and these beautiful little brook trout. They just don't want to give me one over eight inches. Sure. Okay, bud. Beauty. Okay, we got a quick measure on this guy. Heads at the end. Tail is right about 10 inches. 10 inches, maybe nine and three quarter. Beautiful little brook trout. Let my brook okay. trout go here. He's ready. There he goes. He's gone. Awesome. Brook trout. That's sweet. CFM fish off. We got a brookie. Shundy Creek, baby.
Wango, fish on, folks. Oh, this is a decent something, whatever it is. Oh, where's my net? Oh, it's pulling drag. Right on. Oh, look at those jumps. Oh, it's a bass. Nice. There we go, folks. Team drag pullers with a nice little nice bass here. There you go, folks. Nice smallmouth, nice bronzy. Let's see what he's coming in on this bump board. He's coming in at 15 and a quarter. Boom. Nice. Let's get him back in the water. There he goes. Ben fish off season three here. We're good on the nose. 31 inch right on the pin. Yeah. Hang on there. Let's see. Yeah, it's just a touch over, but 31 inch. There, head yeah. is good. Perfect. 31 inch. Okay, girl. All right. CFN fish off season three. Thank you. Northern pipe, sorry. So we got the tip there up. Yep. Okay, and then go to the tail. We got 21 and a half. Yeah, 21 and a half inch northern pike. Out of the North Saskatchewan River. Fishing for season three of Fox CFM. Fish on. 31 inch Wally! I'm still giggling. Oh my god. Oh, we're getting bigger. Ah, oh, it's not. 30, 33. We're going for 33 inch now. We're probably going to get a 23 inch gold eye today. <laughs> the Canadian Fishing Network would like to thank all of its amazing sponsors. And a special shout out thank you to Handlebars Musky Lures for providing us the official CFN Fish Off bump board. Paul Vett here from Team Pike Minnow Gang. And looks what has arrived. Yep, that is a box, and I'm very excited to see what is inside. Woohoo! I see this right here. Thank you, Shimano. Thank you, Handlebars. These are our new beautiful bump boards. I think I see some T-shirts as well. <laughs> Canadian Fishing Network right here. Oh yes, there is two. So we got the little baby one and two big Canadian Fishing Network t-shirts. That is awesome. And we've also got these bump boards by Shimano. There's CFN and there is handlebars. Can't wait to show this to Malcolm. Oh, these are amazing. Oh, look at that. I think they open. Oh no way, it opens up all the way so I could put my sturgeon on here, I could put sharks on here, handlebars, musculars, oh that is absolutely incredible. So CFN has sent us some, this one's all yours, this is a beautiful bump board right here. Oh this is beautiful. Okay, so you know how measuring fish, you don't want them to hit the ground or anything, yeah. right? Yeah. Now I can just put them on this beautiful bump board. You can measure fish up to like 40 something inches. 43 inches. Yeah. That's awesome. Another shirt here. Um, look at the size. What do you think? This is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Now let's hope it stops raining. I really hope that tomorrow our team can catch up because our team really really needs to catch up it'll be easy to catch up hopefully
pressure water. Oh no, it came off! <laughs> Oh, you white crappie. Oh, white crappie. First crappie ever, though. Yeah, nice. Mm. Well, it seems we've hit a lull. It's gotten pretty slow since we caught that. Last fish we oh, just a little molly. Uh, before that, I caught a little northern, which is really shocking. We hadn't caught one before that. Anyway, sitting with my feet in the water here because, believe it or not, these hip meters get hot. And I'm going to get a whole pile of four point fish. I may not get a pile of species, but I'm going to get a pile of four pointers. So, do the best I can with what I got and this river is still muddy I'll see if you can see it and it's actually it is coming in a bad direction it's blowing our mud line into the shallower creek but I guess it don't really matter too much when you can get a 31 inch walleye in that it can't be more than seven or eight feet deep there where the that big walleye I call this but having a great time want a chance to compete in the next cfn fish off join our online tournament at cfn fish off on facebook and make sure you go to www.cfnfishoff.com to learn more and remember the cfn fish off now airs on the world fishing network as well as sportsman channel canada drop it in Fish on. There's like 50 fish right down there. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's Pike Minnow. Mr. Pike Minnow. Look at that. <laughs> Come on, buddy. That's why I crimp my. Barbell. They're super. Yeah, they're super hardy guys. So don't worry. You should be fine. Come on, buddy. Oh. Swam right off. Just yeah. caught a giant cutthroat. I'm gonna try to measure him. Which is extremely difficult. I'll get back to you guys once I'm up by my measuring tape. About that terrible kind of thing, but I went up, grabbed my measuring tape, and he wasn't the right. He was just under seven, so I just released him. Don't worry, he was fine. And I dropped my measuring tape in the water as well. What a pike minnow. This. Okay, we're catching fish that you don't find in creeks. I know. these. My man over here just caught a pike minnow. It's obviously too small for the challenge. But show it. Just there's not. These are not. We're finding all the fish that aren't supposed to be in creeks in here. These weird silver fish that were really big. One of them went after my jig and ate it, but it came off. Like, okay, getting release on the creek pike minnow. Okay, off he goes. Okay, guys. So we couldn't film much in the creek, but it was fish after fish after fish until I thought I saw what I thought was a cougar, but it was a house cat. Just in the middle of the woods, out here, just in this creek, in the middle of nowhere, it's on a trail, and it's filled with fish. What we think is there's like a riparian pond that you're not allowed to fish up there, like way up, and we think a storm pushed all these giant fish down, and well not giant, but too big for this creek, into this little creek here. Usually creeks like this are empty, just have a few fish fry, but that was a big cutthroat, and I'm not sure if you guys saw that. I couldn't get good film of it, and I kind of didn't handle it correctly. But yeah, we're going to go to the main lake this drains into and see what we can catch, guys. Oh my god! He is big. It's a big Walter. Upgraded today? Oh, maybe. Holy man. You want me to hang on to your rod? Gotta get a tape on this girl, too. Yeah. Okay, just wait. I'm gonna let her. She's okay. She's not going to lie. Let's get this tape out of here while I. Here. Excited. Got her. Fish and tape. 
CFM fish off. I don't think this is over 31. I'm gonna get a quick measure on it. Anyway. Yes, yeah, it's only 28. Get there. Yeah, she's 28. 28. I caught you. Nice fish though. Oh, what a beautiful day. I'm actually chasing walleye. We'll take a 28 inch walleye any day of the week. That's a good fish. Guys, Malcolm's behind me. Say hi, Malcolm. And we are going to the actual lake that this creek drains into. I know we will get some species for the challenge, but hopefully more than one. Because there's two species we could catch, cutthroat and large scale sucker. If we and get those. Pike minnow. Yeah, no, yeah, pike minnow too, obviously. And maybe kokanee. Yeah, maybe and kokanee. Maybe dolly probably. Yeah, but those species are rare. The only thing yeah. we're guaranteed to catch is the pike minnow. So hopefully we can catch up. This is what I've been waiting to do for so long. Our team's been behind. And we can finally get out. It's finally not storming. And we can catch some fish. We've made it to the lake here and we've actually brought the bump board. I'm not sure if you guys can see that there. There's Malcolm. We brought the bump board. So, yeah. Let's catch some fishies. I'm not sure if you guys can see in the water there, but there is suddenly a load of decent fish. I don't know what's going on in the corn. Yeah, they're super finicky though. What if we put on, if you put on worm, then the shiner will go after it though. Oh, there's a tiny fish. Little pike minnow, right? Yeah. Oh, size 16, right? Yeah, yeah. I have the net ready. Fight him carefully. I don't know what it is. Fight him carefully. I think it's a sucker. Fight him carefully. I'm slowly pulling him up. It's on a size 16 hook. Whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? Hey, I don't know what this, this is. I think it's okay. a sucker. L lower the drag, lower the drag, lower the drag. No, no, he's coming, he's coming. Just don't want to put too much stress on it. What is this? It's big. I just know it's big. What is that? What? Oh my gosh! Oh my Let gosh! Let it pull drag. Let it pull drag. Dude, stop reeling. Let it pull drag. Oh my gosh! Okay, we need the your net because it's deeper. Pass, pass, pass. I nah. swear to you. I swear to you. Here, walk over here. Walk over here. Hey, he's coming up. He's coming up. Size 16. No way. That's Maybe a, a cat. That's a trout. Oh wait, yeah. That's a trout. Oh Holy gosh. mother of God. That's Bring it here. Bring it here. Dude. <laughs> be ready to net it, dude. I am. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Dude, be ready. I am ready. He's coming, he's coming. Yeah. yeah here he goes. Yeah, yeah. Here. Don't grab the line. Don't, Don't grab, the, grab line. the line. Don't grab the line. Here. The size 16 hook. What is it doing? Oh my god! Oh. Hey, Dean Drag Pullers are here at uh, Caledonia Dam. What's going on, folks? <laughs> so, as for the sign over there, we're fishing uh, more than 25 meters downstream. Yep, I uh, just hooked into a channel catfish. He's using a spinner. I'm also using a spinner. <laughs> We've been catching channel catfish on spinners here today. And uh, we never actually fished this spot here before, but we're giving it a go for moon eye, potentially. Yeah, we're gonna switch to worms here shortly, try for some moon eye, see if there's a gold eye, and maybe a white sucker. Yeah, so that's our plan. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep on fishing. <sighs> Channel. Yeah, I can't believe channels are hitting spinners today. <laughs> nice little channel. Let's give it a good old release. There we go. All right, Mr. Zanelli, he's got a fish on here. This is my thing, dude. River fishing 101. Hatch it, hatch it, hatch it, Oh, big channel. Upgrade? Upgrade.
And he's on short. <laughs> he's not gonna fit in this little net, dude. <laughs> I didn't bother, man. <laughs> Look at that little hook right there in the tip. Wow. All right, look at that. Ah, oh, channel cat. I believe this is an upgrade. Yeah, and man. He's coming in at over 21. I would say 21 and a half. There you go. CFN Fish Off Season 3, Team Drag Pullers. Cool. Beauty. There you go. Team Drag Pullers. <laughs> Let's get this guy back. Let's see the release. <laughs> There he goes. There you go, that's how it's done. The goal of the CFN Fish Off is to show just how accessible angling can be. So therefore, there are no gas-powered boats or motors allowed in our competition. However, the use of canoes, kayaks, and inflatables can be used in this tournament. So we got a little break in the weather finally, the rain let up, we saw some sunshine poke through so we thought we would get off work, race down to Dixon Trout Pond where we're going to target some rainbow trout. I'm going to be trolling with the woolly bugger. Hopefully that's going to be the ticket and bring me some luck today. Let's hope so. And I'm going to be running a fly rod, I'm going to be running a woolly bugger as well. Uh, just a little tip here when you're fishing these trout ponds like this what you want to do is add a little variety so I'm gonna have a woolly bugger as my main fly but then also I have a whole bunch different colors of chromatids so I'll have a chromatid on as a dropper fly so either they're gonna hit the woolly bugger or maybe they'll go for something a little smaller one of these delicious looking chromatids so like Trina said we got a little break here in the weather we got to get out here quick because clouds are coming in, we can hear thunder in the background. So we're going to get out there and try and snag a big rainbow but trout. I will point out, you'll notice we're two munchkins down because the kids are at camp for the next couple days. So it's just mom and daddy thought we'd take advantage and do a little fishing on our own. You know, those clouds do not look very favorable. We're being hopeful. Team Rock Hard Angling. Team Rock Hard. Oh, it is cold and it's windy. We got a storm front. Nice little rainbow trout. Gonna fly a little purple woolly bugger. Right on. We'll get a measure on this guy and we're gonna let him go. Oh, just wait. I'm gonna put his nose in there. Got 12, 12 and a half inch rainbow trout. All right. Hi guys, okay, so I'm shivering because we're heading in because it's freezing, but at least Jared got one, which I mean he always outfishes me, but I had a couple on, I had a good frisky one come, it literally kissed the boat, then jumped off, but um, as always it's super great to spend time with my husband on the water and fishing. Oh, buddy. Give me a look, girl. Give me a look. Oh, Sauger! Woohoo! Yeah? Sauger, yeah! On the board with another one. I gotta land this girl. Get in here, get in here. Sauger! Woohoo! Yeah, nose good there, you got it? Yep. We got a 17 inch. Oh, come on, girl. 17 and a, go to the tail. 17 and a, we'll call it 17 and a quarter. Sauger. Look at that, look at that. Okay, we're gonna end this day on this fish. I have had the most amazing day walleye fishing. I wasn't here to fish walleye, honestly. I was I was hoping for uh, for some uh, some of the lesser chased species. And I ended up getting a 31 inch walleye today, 28. Uh, a whole pile of uh, 25s, 
26s. Perfect. Now we're gonna end off the, today on that fish. And away she goes. What a day. Oh, I wanna thank CFN for giving me the opportunity to do this. Uh, forces me to fish more than I should be. I should be working, but I'm fishing. And I'm gonna keep fishing. Now that it's daytime, you're going to be going deeper. So this is what happens when you get a snag in a tree. You got to get your lure. Um, you have to watch out for the slippery rocks, first of all. That brace is going to break, don't pull on it. any trees folks as you can see I'm a little damp a little moist yeah when you're fishing uh, difficult areas just be sure oh dude yeah. brook shot brook shot right here right here where's your net where's your net man Nice. Where did you go? Give me a. Here you go. Yeah. Good job, dude. Yeah. Right. I think I got that on film. <laughs> All right. One sec, I got to ah, oh, hook in my finger. <laughs> All right, so we got a nice branch out here. Let's get the boom board inside. Okay, hey, chill, chill, chill. Calm down, man. You got him. <laughs> oh, beauty. You're coming in, huh? 19. All right, Puller's gonna release this beauty brown. Changing up my fly here. I know I'm supposed to be sucker fishing. I tried for a while, no luck, got a walleye. But I see fish jumping all over and I just can't resist to do some dry fly fishing. So what I'm seeing, and this is a tip when you're fly fishing, if you want to get them, you got to match the hatch. And what I'm seeing is, uh, well, this fly is called like a gray duster or a gray wolf. And I'm seeing little gray flies uh, flying around and they're from the dragonfly family. So like I said, I can't resist to, to match the hatch and do some dry fly fishing. And I think suckers rise once in a while too. Uh, another tip for you guys, when you're using a small fly like this, you got a bit of current. Use some floating. Just gotta do a little bit on here. That, rub it in. And now you'll get a way longer float out of that fly. Now here's your tailgate tip of the week. Hey folks, Brandon here from Team Drag Pullers and uh, we're here for another installment of Team Drag Pullers Tailgate Tip of the Week. Except we won't be using the tailgate today. Today is actually a truck tip of the week. So today I'm going to show you how to put an edge on a knife that's relatively dull. So as you can see, this knife here, it's you know kind of been used and abused. Can't shave with it. Just So to just put a quick edge on it, a lot of people don't know that you can just use the window on any vehicle. So the glass on the top of your window is actually a beveled shape. So you can use your knife and run it at about 20 degrees. Run it a few times on either side. And whew, yeah, that 
put a little quick edge on there. So, I mean, obviously it's not gonna be as good as using a whetstone or any proper knife sharpening tool, but when you're in a bind, quick way to put an edge on your knife. So, you know, obviously be careful, be safe, try it at home, folks. We're in the North Saskatchewan today in a backwater. Well, it used to be a backwater, but the river's flooding so bad, it's got some heavy current in it today. Fishing with my buddy Rob. Just watching some pickerel rigs here, but what we have been seeing, I'll see, is we got a sturgeon that keeps on jumping out there. Super hot. At least the sun. Oh, look at that. I got a fish. And I'm filming. Rob, come here. Oh, grab the camera. Ah, I lost him. Ah. Darn it. Ah. Oh, no. I still got him. Yes. Looks like a sucker. A long nose sucker, another species. Yes. Whoa. I think that's a long nose something or another, eh? Well, let's check it out. It's just a little. Yeah, I'll get back here. That's that? good. Okay. Oh yeah, we're right to the 14 inch there. Yeah. 14 inch. Uh, long nose. Long nose sucker, I believe. Get a get yeah. up there. Rob. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. Good. What is it? Uh, we're fishing for CFN fish off season three. And that's three species, new species for the day. If you compete in our next online tournament, you could possibly win a spot on your very own TV show on the World Fishing Network, as well as Sportsman Channel Canada. Thursday morning here. Uh, I don't really have to work today, so I'm gonna go out and try and do some fishing, trying to get some different species. Um, so I don't want to go too far here today because, of course, looks like it's gonna thunderstorm here. So I'm gonna try something a little different. Um, I'm gonna head down to the river here that's just right close to me, the Red Deer River, and I'm gonna fish, try and get some suckers without worms or bait. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some um, imitation stoneflies or some uh, like a black bunny leech, something like that. Weight it down, let it sit on bottom and hopefully I can snag up a couple of suckers and uh, have some fun doing it. Sucker. Oh, looks like a moon eye. rig I got here. Big sinker like this. It just kind of slides along the bottom. Up above that I got a freshwater shrimp. And below that I got a black bunny leech. I'm toss that out in the deep and see what happens. No suckers today. Search continues. We got gold eye, we got moon eye, we got walleye. Not the fish we wanted is a sucker. Give her a go tomorrow morning. Let's see if we can get one. So this is where we're fishing today. Credit River, parts of the credit. You can see we got some wild trout. Wow. <laughs> Physical endurance requirement. 10 out of 10. Here comes the other half team drag force. Boom! Oh. We made it. Now the walk to the bush. Oh yeah! 
that was a big one, dude. That was big, whatever it was. Boom! Is that our brown? Uh, I don't know yet. No, it could be Atlantic, I think, as well. This is Atlantic. Yeah, well, it's good with red dots on it, right? On the tail? I believe it's an Atlantic salmon. I don't think it's a brown trout because it's not a square tail. See if I'm fish off, season three. Team drag pullers. Ten and a half. Yeah. All right, team drag pullers, Atlantic salmon. There he goes. Team drag pullers strikes again. Yeah, buddy. Here, another shorthead red horse. I think I'm gonna wait till tonight to start posting these. I didn't realize we'd be catching so many. So we've got, uh, uh, you got the nose there good, Rob? Yeah. And we got 17, wait a sec here. 17 and a half. Yeah. There we go. I didn't realize there'd be that many. Look at the beautiful colors. We got some green in a main, goldy green. Mm -hmm. Beautiful colors, beautiful colors. And away he goes. A little over 15 and a half. Go to the nose, get the nose. Yeah, CFN season three. Uh, it's gonna, gonna, everybody get a good picture of him. I think it's a white sucker. I, I have to apologize, I'm not a very good uh, sucker identifier. All right, I'm back in the water here. My buddy Rob brought me a net so I don't have to throw him no more. Another uh, another species on the board. Okay, you got her there, Rob? Yeah. Okay, we got a short head red horse here. Another one, an upgrade from the first one, and it is 15 and three quarters. And what do you say? Um, we're fishing for uh, season three CFN fish off. Well, we're out here filming for CFN fish off season three. Been, well, we've been doing really good. Caught, uh, started catching some red horse sucker, ended up now a big one. Oh. Been, I don't know what that was. Didn't stick. Uh, our big one now is 17 and a half inch. I don't know if that's actually a really big one or, or not. But we're doing pretty good. We got three species: white sucker, a long nose sucker, and a short head red horse. Yeah, just amazing. No wind. The bugs aren't bad. The sun finally went away. It's not cooking our brains anymore. And the fish are absolutely going nuts today. Yeah, yeah. I have the net ready. Fight him carefully. I don't know what it is. Fight him carefully. I think it's a sucker. What is that? What? Oh my gosh! Oh my Let gosh! Let it pull drag. Let it pull drag. Hey, he's coming up. He's coming up. Size 16. No way. That's tiny. That's a. That's a. That's, that's a I don't think that's a pike minnow. That's, that's a, a cat. Boat. No, that's, that's maybe a, a cat. That's a trout. Oh, wait, yeah. That's a trout. Holy nice. mother of God. That's bring it here. Bring it here. Dude. <laughs> Be ready to net it, dude. I am. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Yeah. yeah here he goes. Yeah. Yeah. What is it doing? Okay. It's a pike widow. Oh, my God. Oh, dang. Oh, we were right. Oh, come on. All right. All right. That is the biggest pike minnow I've ever seen. Oh, that's a PB for cover. That is a 25 inch fish. Can it fit? Can it grab it? Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh it just my snapped. gosh. Well, it... yeah, that's on a size 16. Grab the, grab the bumper. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That looks like it. Oh, oh my gosh. Did you film it? Is yes. it yes, filming? I'm, yes, I'm, it's here, filming. Here, give it, give it, give it, give it. Pike give it, minnow it, gang it, with the biggest pike minnow I've ever Milton caught. Cava. Oh <laughs> my gang. gosh, guys. Guys, do you see this? My rod. Oh my Dude, gosh. Dude, that bit of piece of worm this long. Oh, I this casted long. it. I casted it. I put on the worm. It's my fish, even though it's on your rod. Yes. Oh High my five. gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's oh, the biggest yes. pike. Keep pike middle gang. This is, a, this is apparently the trash fish, right? Does this look like a trash fish to you? Oh my gosh, guys. Here, here's your guys, fish. Dude, here's guys, your this fish. is a six pound. You're going to have Oh, you're gonna have gosh. to weigh it. Hey, hey, oh my god, 23 inches. No, yeah, 23 inches. Oh my gosh, Pike Mill Gang, dude, call it, call it. There. I'll, I'll oh my gosh, weight. guys, I'll guys, 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 you don't understand. That's a 23 inch northern Pike Mill. I, I have no words, I have no words. 
What did no. you use? One and a half. Worms! On a size 16 hook! This just look! It, it, it was the lightest bite! I thought it was a three inch fish! No, no, let go, let it go! Four, Four pounds! Point one. Holy crap! I'm gonna try to grab him by the tail. Oh, he's ready, he's ready. Whoa! Ooh, guys, this is the best day of my life. This is the best day of my life. You don't understand. You don't understand, guys. This is the best day of my life. I just caught a 23 inch, 4.1 pound northern pike minnow on a size 16, size 16, so this big, like a little mosquito hook. 23 inch pike minnow going on CFN. This is absolutely incredible. 100% a first for CFN. Wow. That six it's unbelievable. So hard, it's one of the best days of my life, guys. After week two, all four teams have caught some incredible fish. The Pike Minnow Gang caught a massive Pike Minnow, giving them a total of eight points. After two weeks, Team Rock Hard Angling was able to amass a total of 22 points. Sass Fish Hunters had a really good week as they jumped to second place, totaling 28 points. And the drag pullers remain on top, catching some really nice fish with a total of 44 points. Here's a sneak peek into the next episode. Oh yeah. So this is where I'm headed. Oh, that's a big one. This is our last night of uh, kid freedom, oh, right? Oh, look at that. The CFM Fish Shop would like to thank all of our wicked sponsors. Handle Bars Musky Works. Ugly Boy Baits. Sid Fishes Jigs. MFS Fishing Tackle. Bait and Bite Me. Bad Habit Baits. Rise Outdoor Apparel. Accessible Angling. Blind Rage Baits. Next Gen Baits. Got to Bite Fishing Tackle. Sanderson Outdoors. Best Lure Company. Wanda Flies. Impact Baits. Nick's Hand Tied Panfish Jigs. Fish Whipped Apparel. Creek Candy Bead Company. Camp Macintosh. Ming's Lures. C4 Lures. Horwood Lake Lodge. River Reaper Fishing Tackle, Job of the Ice Huts, Shimano, and of course, Bait to Go Outdoor Flavors. Thanks for watching. And stay tuned for next week for episode three. But in the meantime, follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel.